6 weather with Stephanie Mead. Severe thunderstorm watch for our northern counties. So for Shawano County, Ocano County, Marinette, Lang Lake, Menominee, and Menominee, Michigan. Now that's until 1 a.m. this uh, the tomorrow. complex move through the area. Right now we have a northern Marinette County under a severe thunderstorm watch with this system. We're seeing some gusty wind conditions as well as some heavy rain. With that system behind that, it's already managed to leave a flood warning for areas in the western half of the state. They're seeing precipitation rates anywhere between one inch to two inch per hour. But we're also looking at developing showers and thunderstorms to the south that'll impact a bulk of our viewing area later into the overnight hours uh, of tomorrow. So we're going to start to see some of that rain develop here across Green Bay as well as down in Appleton and we're seeing that a little bit north of Watomo right now. Plenty of lightning associated with this, these systems pushing through the area. So we're in store for a very active night and it's already pretty active up towards the north. Lots of lightning, heavy rainfall, gusty wind conditions is what we're going to get with those systems. Highs today managed to make it into the mid to upper 80s. 90 degrees for a high in Green Bay, 88 in Clintonville, 92 in Wapaka. Right now temperatures are varying as we have the storms pushing through a little bit uh, cooler up towards the north. 77 in Mountain, 75 in Anago, 79 currently in Green Bay, still 84 at our 10 o'clock hour out towards Wapaka and 80 down towards Watoma. And what's helping fuel these storms is our high dew points. A lot of moisture in the air is giving the fuel for these thunderstorms to push through. Dew points anywhere between the upper 60s and lower 70s. Luckily, we'll see those diminish as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow. And all of these storms are associated with this cold front that will move throughout the overnight hours into our area. So we're in store for a pretty active night, especially since we have those cells up towards the north and developing showers off towards the west. And the SPC severe weather threat has been uh, up for us. We're in the slight risk. We were originally in the marginal risk in the beginning of the evening, and now we're in the slight. But the central half of the state is in the enhanced risk of seeing some severe weather, which means they could see numerous severe storms, which they have throughout the evening already, which could give them uh, some flooding conditions as well as some gusty wind conditions as well. And some of our northern counties are already experiencing that. Here's our high res future radar. Those showers and thunderstorms up towards the north are going to continue to push east at around 45 miles per hour, but this line off towards the west is what's really going to impact our core viewing area as we head into the overnight hours. This is at around 3.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we continue to see that threat of some strong, even potentially severe thunderstorms as we head into early tomorrow morning. This is a fast moving system, so as quickly as it moved in, it's going to move out equally as quickly as, to, as uh, the storms move out at around 8.30. Areas to the south, of us could see some lingering showers in the later morning hours, but a lot of us remain dry as we head into tomorrow morning. And rainfall amounts are going to vary in location as we some areas might see some thunderstorms and some might not. So some areas could see around a half an inch and areas up towards the north could see well over an inch of rain. Temperature trend over the next couple of days, 90 for tomorrow, and then we cool off as that cold front moves through and then we rebound rather nicely as we head into Thursday and Friday. But much cooler conditions are on the way as that cold front passes through. For tonight, we do see a chance of showers and thunderstorms, potentially severe at times for some areas. And then for tomorrow, we see complete clearing with sunny skies throughout the afternoon with highs in the lower 90s. Extended forecast, 90 degrees by Monday, Tuesday, 76, 76 for Wednesday as well with mostly sunny skies. And then Thursday, Friday into Saturday, we rebound back rather nicely with temperatures in the lower 80s with a mixture of some sun and clouds. But as we're seeing this complex move through up towards the north, just be aware that you know some of it is going to turn severe, so make sure you get in the two interior rooms because these, these uh, storms are strong. So things are going to get interesting tonight. Yeah, very active overnight. You can stay updated with us on our Facebook and also on our website at NBC26.com. All right, sounds good. Yeah. We'll still head on NBC26.